friends hello it's Monday it was Monday whenever you're watching this video the market is back up it's rolling and man look what's happening here with TRKA it's moving again this is exciting so I was gonna make a video on these guys uh, Thursday release it Friday going into the weekend but I was like ah, I'm gonna wait see what happens here Monday because Friday we had a pretty good day with the stock it actually ended around like a 29 cent zone but then it even after hours it broke into a mid 30 so um 30 cent range obviously but it was pretty interesting and it still continues and even with volume right now we are seeing and move up here so friends thank you for being here like i said it's monday things are back up and going i know a lot of you have been playing with crypto all week and now you're back in the market playing around with stocks short trading them doing what you do but anyway thanks for being here listen to me yap so with trka here obviously um we've had the news broke it broke last week it's kind of new all news but it's news in general that the settlement agreement for the lawsuit all that kind of stuff has kind of they've come to an agreement and we probably should not be hearing about it anymore which was making people happy now we're seeing this paradox happen of the stock is actually moving up again now back here in march marks march 6 we had the stock hit almost an 80 cent zone and then we kind of just lost momentum and everything fell apart and, and went right back down into a 17 cent zone now the past i'll say couple weeks here we've been seeing a little bit of a shelf being built here and if we look at this one month forecast it's a rocky shelf but it is a rocky shelf nonetheless <laughs> you know we'll take it so we've had some high points with some low points march 22nd we were at a 17 cent zone march 29th we're at a 30 cent zone and then now april 10th we're back at a 30 cent move and it looks like we could continue to move up here a little bit and this is what happened with the last big boost it had now listen i'm not saying that this is going to happen again um I, I this is in no way shape form me saying like put every nickel you got into this i'm just saying we're seeing some very interesting um uh movement right now with the stock now i will say this if it goes to a 40 to 50 cent zone i think it's kind of obvious at that point yeah we're going back into an 80 possibly trying to get this thing to a dollar it needs a dollar it needs a dollar but communication stocks today monday they did do well it was a hot day for communication stocks in general so trka here obviously took the bait as well and went with it with this stock right now it's still heavily traded it is being traded from hand to hand a lot of volume a lot of talk around it it's the number one stock right now even on stock twits where people are just talking about it so there is still fight in life in this stock and i don't think it's anything we need to uh you know act like something's not happening because there is obviously it's just can't get enough momentum and enough volume to really sustain some good numbers with it and i think for me personally i, I need to see a little more with it like i said i'm looking for it to hit at least a 40 to 50 if we do that then obviously we're in a really good position and it's probably going to continue to rise but friends like i said um it was an okay day in the market it wasn't crazy it wasn't terrible some things did well some things didn't do well first republic bank here is trying to get back to a 15 dollar range uh, i don't know if it's going to be able to do it uh had a really okay day today we'll say okay um but it could fall apart again tomorrow that's kind of been the story it starts off hot on mondays and then it just kind of falls apart um later in the day so i am curious to see if this is going to be the week where it can possibly get its ground back and honestly i you know it's hard to say right now because you know we're seeing a lot of these analysts a lot of these bankers these top executives all these people money management groups they keep talking about a crash coming we're talking more and more about a crash coming and there's more negative in the air than there is positive and for god's sakes we don't know from one day to the next are we going to be nuked so a lot of people are scared to put massive amounts of money in bank stocks right now when they're not doing so hot and the dollar is losing its dollar you know what i'm saying but there is one thing that did happen that i really think is going to do some damage this week with the stock now today like i said it did okay 
but I think uh, this is going to be some settling news that the bank did suspend its dividends. So we were expecting that. I talked about this two weeks ago where I was like, hey, get ready if you've got a mass amount of stocks in this, because a lot of people were saying like, it's a great dividend, it's a great dividend. It was and is, but obviously we knew it was going to be suspended because the bank right now is trying to save every piece of money they can. But right now, we are just in a mass waiting position for the recovery of this bank right now. It's it's just, it's going to be a slow process. And honestly, with all this turmoil going on in the overall market, with talking of banking and future projections of rates and the next valuation we have coming up here in June with Mr. Powell, you know, I, I don't have high hopes myself friends i really don't there's no really good news coming that we know of the only good thing i can say is that i believe the bank and the stock will survive um but i think it's going to be a long climb back up to the top um i don't even i don't even expect to see the stock back at, back at a 30 dollar range probably until like you know months from now i mean months it, that's if things go well here so friends i am going to be quiet now i want to wish all of you the best of luck and I will talk to you super duper real soon. Take care, friends. Bye, everyone.